Okay, everybody. Look, here's the deal. We have gone through a huge change in the annuity world, and there's so many people out there that have annuities and may not like them or may not even have any clue what they actually have. So I want to talk about this whole concept of refinancing your annuity. I'm seeing all these companies out there blasting that out there. And I want you to think of through this and seek good help, not salesmen. Okay, because salesmen can play a lot of games and I am really disgruntled in what I see out there. There are ways to do this that make sense. And there are ways that are just flat out illegal and shouldn't be done. And they're hiding it from regulators. So be very careful when you're out there looking for this. So first of all, old annuities. When I say old annuities, before interest rates rose. So let's just say arbitrarily before 2022. That was when most of the rates had, had uh, settled in at a higher level. So interest rates were and are significantly lower. Meaning if you got an annuity before 2022, you got it during a period when interest rates had been so low for so long that even though interest rates have moved up, they can't help you. They, they invested this money back when interest rates were so low. So they're not only were they low, but they're going to stay low. There's no chance of them going up higher for you. They can change your interest rate calculations and probably have been. So here's a big problem with old annuities. And in my terms, when I look at things like fixed indexed annuities, I'm a fan of them. I haven't had a problem with them for a long time. They're a good diversification from a bond portfolio. But the big problem they've had is they started with these interest rates and your earning power was great. But over the years, they've dropped those interest rate calculations on how you can earn interest. Those old contracts were all doing it. And the vast majority of new ones still do it. It's ridiculous. It's not fair. And it shouldn't be done that way. So what you got five years ago, your ability to earn is already way less. So the old annuities have that huge problem in them. Filled with caps and bad indices. So the industry was trying to get so creative working through these very low interest rates for so long that they were coming up with these all obscure indices and these, these volatility controls that are just ridiculousness and they haven't been paying very well, not as well as they had illustrated. Income payout rates were drastically lower. I wasn't a big fan of these deferred income annuities that get sold in dinner seminars because the payout rates were so terrible. But now that's changed. Payout rates are way higher now, okay? You typically have access to 10% penalty-free annually. A lot of people that are in annuities don't realize they have access to the money. When salesmen sell these things, they don't really put it in a plan. They don't show you how to use it. They don't meet with you ever again. So make sure you understand the terms of your contract. Talk to somebody that understands these contracts and maybe can help you adjust and see how to use them for your situation. Some companies have market value adjustments that are smaller than others. You may not even know what a market value adjustment is. It's really hurting the ability for people to get out of their annuities right now, or it's making slick salesmen force you to do it in a way that they can hide it from a regulator so they don't say no, right? So we got to be careful about the penalties. You have penalties to get it out, but sometimes they're small enough where you're able to get out in a manner that still makes sense. That's so important. When done properly, it goes through regulator control and says, is this in the client's best interest? And forms have to be filled out comparing what you're in now and what you're going to. It's very important that this type of stuff is done properly. Otherwise, it's a slick salesman saying, ah, just cash it out and then we'll write a check for the new one. Don't do that. Be very careful how you're doing this, okay? You know you're talking to a salesman if they're trying to get you to do things like that. So when we talk about this concept of upgrading your annuity or refinancing your annuity, there's good reasons. There are legitimate reasons. If you had a mortgage, at, a 30-year mortgage at 6% and you could refinance it down to 2%, you'd do it. It's in your best interest. Okay, this should be a win-win for everybody. So newer annuities, interest rates are significantly higher. And now we have companies out there guaranteeing those interest rates for the whole term. So if you're using a fixed indexed annuity that has much lower rates, lower caps, bad indices, you may be able to upgrade that. Okay, If you have an income rider out there, the payout rates are significantly higher. 
Okay, we have significantly better indices, participation rates with no caps. There's so many things that are much, much, much better now that we have higher interest rates, much better. And you can lock into these higher interest rates and improve what you currently have. So how do you do that? Well, there's something called a 1035 exchange. That's like for like, annuity for annuity. If you go from annuity company to annuity company without going to your bank account first, there's no taxation, okay? Now, if you have a penalty, you will have to pay that penalty, but the new company will have to approve this and make sure it's better for you. So the new company, a lot of the times, they'll pay a real bonus, not the fake garbage stuff. I'm starting to hear things like, somebody just walked in my office and told me that they got offered a 70% bonus. Well, look, I've heard of 30% bonuses. I've never heard of a 70% bonus. So I'm looking into that one. But oh my Lord, is that not real? <laughs> it is not real. The 30% is not real. That's just a new income uh, annuity that has nothing to do with your real money. The real bonuses that are out there that are going into your real money are all around 10% out there right now. You might find 12%, but the reality is, is the real bonuses are about 10% out there. So if your penalty is five, six, seven, eight percent to get out and you're earning 10% immediately and they compare the two contracts and the new contract is better, the regulators say, go for it, go do it. I don't have a problem with that. You're upgrading what you currently have. And that's the goal in this. Recoup that penalty with a bonus that's real. In those low interest rate, almost all the bonuses were not real. Now we have higher interest rates. There are real bonuses out there. So we got to be careful. Again, working with an actual advisor, not a salesman, is the important part of this. The hard part is making sure that you're doing that, right? So these bonuses that are out there can help you recover from any losses that you had from that previous annuity. So when we look at this, what do you need to do? Well, the first thing you need to do is review your plan, understand why you have an annuity. Okay, I've always been an advocate of if you're getting an annuity, get a plan in writing. Okay, good, get a good financial plan that says, here's why I'm using this annuity and how I'm going to use it in the future. So that way we have a better understanding of the place that this annuity has in our portfolio. And if you didn't get one of those, again, seek actual financial advice, not from some salesman that just sold the annuity to you, okay? So we need to have an idea of why we're using this annuity, okay? What are your expectations from this annuity? Too many people have these income annuities and have no expectations of actually pulling income from it. Might want to take a withdrawal occasionally here and there. Some people don't even know they can take withdrawals. So question it. Why do I have this? Understand what this annuity is for, and then gather up your statements. Find out what your penalty is. How much is your penalty? Find the accumulation value, which is the real value of your cash dollars that are in there, and find out how much the surrender value is, which is if you say, give me all my money, how much am I getting? And then find out what that percentage penalty is. If it's more than 10%, you're going to struggle to get out of there legally in your best interest. If it's less than 10%, that's something that, that can probably be upgraded significantly, okay? So it's important to know these things. And then your contract will have payout rates if this is an income annuity, and those have drastically risen. Okay, so when, when I look at these older contracts, the payout rates are more like five or sorry, 4% for most people. For people that in those same contracts today, you're looking at more like 6%. Okay, so a 4% payout versus a 6% payout is drastically different and can be upgraded. Okay, so find a knowledgeable independent advisor that understands annuities. There's so many independent advisors out there that don't understand annuities, but there are more and more and more good advisors out there that took their blinders off and said, I'm going to force myself to understand everything about the world of finance. Okay, that's the hard part out there. People find their little niche, their little lane, and they're not willing to look out there. I was just talking to some advisors, opening their eyes to what's out there. It's amazing all the different stuff that can be used out there. But when you're in your niche, you just keep your blinders on to it. So understand, you got to have an unbiased advisor that understands this world out there. 
I can always help. I'm happy to help. I'm licensed everywhere. Jump on Zoom. I can run through the different types of annuities that you have out there. Always happy to review what you currently have and help you understand what you have and see if there's anything that can be done to help fix it. All right. So let me know if I can help your investmentcounselor.com. You can book three uh, free 30 minute uh, meet and greet with me. You can book hourly. You can book anything you want on there uh, directly with me. I am a real person. I am in Arizona, but I'm happy to jump on Zoom with people anywhere in the world. I talk to Japan all the time. I talk to uh, lots of different countries all the time with clients everywhere. Uh, full classes. We do classes in full form, hour, hour and a half long classes. We do them over Zoom and we do a couple of them in person here in Arizona. FPFEAZ.org. Jump on there. Look at the schedule. We do a different topic every single month. Open Q&A to interact with me, everything. And our phone if you need us for any reason. Always happy to help. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. Comment below. I do respond to comments. Well, I respond to questions, uh, comments. Sometimes I just leave those alone and always appreciate them. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got two new videos coming out every single uh, every single week. So if you haven't explored our channel, jump on that channel and, and, and start watching some of those other videos. All right, everybody. See you next week. Thanks again.